So guys, Alex here, vlogging to you on a Saturday afternoon in Middle Europe. Now the thing is, I have done a 180 degree turn. I've decided to do some Tinder dates as part of the first 52 first date project. So, now as the, well, I was about to say the world, but as the 50 guys and gals who actually watch these vlogs on a regular basis sort of heave a huge collective sigh and their eyeballs roll right into the back of their heads, I I'm just gonna, manfully try to self-justify as to why it is I'm now doing some Tinder dates. Having sworn blind in my introductory vlog, as well as as recently as a couple of weeks ago during a vlog I did during a wedding, that I would not do online or Tinder. I would not touch it with a barge pole. In fact, I have no experience of online or Tinder dating. Um, I'm not at all well qualified for that. I've had a, I did have a Tinder profile once, but I got rid of it and never, never used it. I also did online for a bit and generated one date, that was like seven years ago. And I've always felt that the whole thing that I do is the day game thing, it's approaching girls during the daytime, it's just the, the bee's knees, the real McCoy. It's, it's, you know, it's what meeting women should be all about. It's not in clubs when you're drunk, it's not by means of a computer, you don't really know what you're, you're, talking, uh, uh, what you're talking to. It's such a real way of meeting girls, and such a great way. I'm in a shopping centre here. I've been out, I've made six approaches, quite sort of naturally on the way to pick up some glasses. Keep losing my glasses. And I've got two numbers and had some fun little interactions. The best one was with a girl who was hurrying to the airport to meet the guy that she was hoping would propose to him. She looked really stunning, I think probably because she was obviously dolling herself up on the way to meet him. So she looked great. Uh, and that's why she just stood out in a crowd and I had to run after and approach her. We had quite an interesting conversation. So, but, 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 I think it is worth doing the Tinder, a Tinder experiment with, on a limited basis, with a limited set of rules and boundaries. Now, the two reasons that, I'm, that I've done a 180 degree backflip on this, one is because I've been struggling to generate dates and please uh, I've got partly good reasons for that one is I've been completing a book too late mate I'll put a little clip up here of the book it's been a, a mammoth enterprise and I've, I've just been consumed with that because I've been having to run a day a day job as well I've been flagging a bit with the day game because I've been doing it for a while now and anyway so everything has collided and it's made it quite difficult to get out and about as much as I would like. Perhaps my kind of vibe is down as well because my focus is on this completing this book, so I've taken a bit of a break from day game. So I've been falling a little bit behind with generating 52 first dates. The other, but that was, wasn't enough for me. I thought, well, I've just got to find a way to, you know, meet girls. It doesn't have to be a cold approach. And I did actually run a little party and generated a date 11 by a sort of social network, social status type technique of meeting a new girl. But the other reason I'm doing it is because two buddies, Ian and Tom, who are very experienced and very successful at women and dating, seduction and day game in particular, came to me, sat me down with a glass of beer on a nice summer evening on the street a couple of weeks ago and said, Alex, I know this is something you don't want to do and it's a bit crazy, but we just think it could be a really interesting experiment. And they pitched me the idea of doing some Tinder dates as well. They'd been playing around looking at what's out there on Tinder. Anyway, they said it could be a really interesting experiment because it could be a cool way of comparing day game approach and online approach, which they haven't really done. None of us have really done any, pr properly done any, any sort of Tinder online whatever, where you're actually dating a photograph and a computer keyboard rather than an actual living human being. So I felt that was a quite an interesting, but anyway, so I, I was sold on the pitch because it did seem as if it would be very interesting to contrast as an experiment, a limited number of Tinder dates with day game approaches. So I've decided to just do six. Uh, I, you know, I mean, really, you can send me a, a letter bomb in the post if I, uh, you have my permission, if I renege on this commitment. <laughs> Ian is over there, just sat down, come out, come out of the blue out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> if. The major by February 2018, the majority of my dates aren't from daytime approach. 
uh, okay and you know like 75 percent ish okay so uh, it's a limited experiment uh, it, i think there's two interesting things about this tinder thing one is that uh, i think it's going to be quite uh, interesting to see what the return of investment is you know you, you may think that going out into the streets particularly if you've never done day game or you're just starting is quite a, a heavy investment in terms of your time and energy well i'm interested to see whether or not that's entirely true and whether or not actually it's quite a heavy time of investment and energy particularly for you know um, a, a, an older dude to generate dates through tinder uh, i've had one flake tonight I've got one set up for tomorrow. I have, I should say, sneakily subcontracted out the process of, t of generating the Tinder dates, doing the messaging, doing the day. I'm paying a buddy £10 a pop for each date that's generated, uh, which I'm shameless about. I mean, they're still, they're not, they're still seeing my photo. And uh, which, so, so that's helped me to speed the process up because I just find myself quite busy at the moment. So it's going to be quite interesting to see what the return of investment is and you know because I think there's that day game that you do very quickly get an idea of who the girl is so we'll see on uh, be interesting to you know be quite scientific about it and compare the return on investment of six tinder dates to a similar thing of, of day gaming I'm, I'm now day gaming quite regularly as back on the horse as it were today I've been out as I say you know on the way shopping to pick up some glasses an hour and a half's time six conversations uh, two telephone numbers uh, the other thing is I'm quite interested in just simply the how you do a tinder date I'm actually really nervous about it it's a bit crazy my new normal is kind of approaching complete strangers in the street <laughs> getting their telephone numbers um, and now the idea of having to go out on six tinder dates where you don't really know who, who they are you can, what, one thing that you can be sure of is that the photograph isn't going to isn't going to be representative of the actual person when you meet them in the flesh so uh, uh, ha I'm going to need to create some sort of time constraint. I'm going to need to grow some balls and just say, right, that, uh, that was very nice. I enjoyed meeting you. Thanks for the drink. Uh, be in touch. I've got another meeting or whatever. Uh, of creating some, some time constraint because otherwise you can get out of, out of control because the big thing that you need to avoid, I think, in these sort of Tinder date situations is, you know, just spending a whole night with someone you're not that really, really interested in because you're being nice. So the, the other interesting part of it is sort of, but nevertheless, you don't want to be an arsehole about it, okay? So, uh, for example, I've, uh, you know, lined up a date evening, Monday night, six o'clock. I have a regular engagement on Mondays at 8.30, so it's a natural kind of, it's, it's a Monday two. It's, you know, it's clearly projecting just meet for a drink, six o'clock after work, but nothing major. So, uh, you know, I don't come across like an arsehole, we just have a short drink. We know in advance and it just sort of takes that pressure off because there must be a lot of pressure with Tinder and online dating of, you know, if, if you don't hit it off straight away, what, what, what do you do? You, you just pull the ripcord, which I mean, you can, but I just think I'd like to do it nicely and gracefully rather than just sort of abruptly. So it'd be quite interesting to run these Tinder dates. I'm more nervous about this, these six Tinder dates than I'm about going out and doing some day games. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, I will, I, I, as I say, I'm still day gaming, uh, but I'm now just throwing in a few to the dates that I think it could be quite an interesting experiment. Okay, guys, look forward to vlogging you in the very near future.